Welcome to my purifier bowl assembling video. After thoroughly cleaning the parts and inspection, we put back a new main cell ring, uh, O-rings. Uh, we put some grease for lubrication. And putting the O-ring, we need to double check that the O-ring is properly fitted into its groove. some air blow to clean the o-ring groups or the sliding bowl we put some grease and we put the o-ring carefully into the main cylinder and the ball body there's also an o-ring in which the main cylinder is attached so we put some grease then fit it according to its groove fit the o-ring properly so that when putting the main cylinder it will not be very hard then we put some grease for lubrication on the main cylinder and as you can notice there is a mark on the main cylinder so it will be match up also with your special tools so that it will be very easy when putting it on your ball body after tightening the special tool you are now ready to put back the main cylinder onto the ball body okay be careful with the tally mark the tally mark zero the main cylinder mark will match up with the ball body mark so it must be aligned perfectly as you can see in the video by slowly putting the main cylinder into the ball body base will touch the ball body so you can now remove this special tool then try to turn it if it is very hard now it is being properly fitted onto its tally mark where it is being aligned the main cylinder is seated properly on the ball body next is the disc stack so after fitting all the disc it has a three upper disc So after cleaning it, so you are now ready to put it back. So it has also a tally mark. So it must be fitted properly according to the alignment of its tally mark as seen in the video. It must be in place together with the zero mark on the bowel body. So as it is installed, you can freely move it so that it will uh, uh, sit in properly so if it is very hard to turn then it is seated properly same with the or main cylinder or you just you can see it on your tally mark if it is properly aligned next is to put the top disc so it has also a tally mark then you have the o-ring you put the o-ring for your top disc so also you need to turn it if it is very hard so it is also properly seated on your this stack next is installing the bowl hood so we put the special tools so your special tools also is italy mark uh, peep hole so make sure to put it align with your tally marking as you can see in the video it has a group so it will match with the group also of your ball body so after it is being successfully installed you can now remove the special tool and check the tally marking in the key guide so that uh, you can see that it is properly being seated next is to put the compression tool so that you can compress the disc then after compressing the discs you can put now the bowl nut so by compressing the disc you can easily install the bowl nut so you can look and feel it by your hand on your key in the key guide through the peephole of your special tool avoid over compressing so that the, your disc stack will not be damaged so you can now put the bowl nut so we're gonna put some high temperature lubricant preferably molecule so as your disc is 
properly compressed so you can easily put the bowl nut so until it becomes hard so a little hammering then we put also markings on your bowl nut so that you can easily see if it is properly aligned with your tally marking according to your bowl body and bowl hood so you're gonna use the big spanner this nut spanner so as you can observe it is a slightly hard so you can hammer it or just compress a little bit the compression tool, the compression tool. but do not over compress so now it is being aligned so you can see that the bowl nut is properly tightened according to your tally marking now you can remove your special compression tool So next is the installing of your pilot bulb. You need to manually open and close it by your hand. So if it is very smooth, then you can install it. So you put some lubrication, a little bit of grease. Also air blow the casing. Also do some inspection if there is any blockage. careful for the proper position installing it so you can only just push it by your hand now you can install the bulb nut so also be mindful of its position but it might not be reversed put some molly coat and tighten this pilot bulb uh, needs a little bit extra torque so you need to hammer hammer it a little bit so in one purifier unit there's a two pilot bulbs so same procedure for replacing pilot bulbs After that, you can fit the special tools for lifting. Then we can inspect the base or the bottom of the bowl body. So inspect the bottom, clean, and see for some damages or worn outs, especially these uh, operating water ports. Check it if it is not blocked by some dirt or sludge. If it is blocked, we need to clean it. need to replace also the drain nozzle for the pilot bulb we need to replace for, for new one so it must be replaced every time we clean the bowl so we just use the flat screwdriver to remove the nozzle it is a little bit hard but uh, don't worry, it can, it can be removed. Now we put the new one. So we put some uh, high temperature lubrication, the molecot. So after installing the drain nozzle for the pilot bulb, we test the opening and closing of your main cylinder. 
so by applying a compressed air so you can see the up and down movement of your main cylinder so it is a sign that your main cylinder is working so your ball is opening and closing compare that one it is uh, good to go some explanations so the engineer is uh, teaching his uh, subordinate some knowledge principle of the ball function now in the video you can see the operating water chamber which controls the opening and closing of your bowl by water pressure so we put the o-rings and put some grease also we put the bowl bush thoroughly putting the o-ring and put some lubrication now we're ready to install the bowl assembly before putting back the bowl assembly you need to double check that there are no rugs left behind at your sludge ports can now slowly uh, lower down your ball body until it touches the shaft can now remove the lifting tool Next is to install or put the lock nut of your purifier bowl onto your vertical shaft. So it has some special tool. after painting the lock nut you need to inspect it then uh, do some measurements so according to the manual check for the height of your bowl onto you, the purifier casing so it has a standard uh, measurement according to the manual next is the fitting of the inlet and outlet device so you need to put some o-rings on your impellers so on the video you can see the impeller after putting all the o-rings you can put the inlet pipe you can put the impeller next is the light liquid chamber then uh, tighten it by using the special tools the 
spanner there's no specific torque but you need to hammer it uh, a little bit need to put some o-rings And we put the gravity disc next is the packing then the impeller And the heavy liquid chamber then last is this uh, the disc nut so by tightening the disc nut we use the also the special tools the spanner <laughs> there's no specific torque also but you need to tighten it a little bit by hammering tightening we do some inspection for your sludge ports check for any obstruction before putting back the ball cover install the o-ring new o-ring now we are ready to put back the ball cover so when putting it uh, you need to slightly lower so that this uh, o-ring will not get damaged it is being properly seated you can now put the hexagonal nut then tighten after tightening the ball cover you need to check if your inlet pipe will freely move if you lift it up if, if it is okay so you can you can lock it with this hexagonal pin Then fit the lock nut for your inlet pipe. So it has a marking based on the height according to the manual. Now you are ready to put the fittings for your inlet and outlet the water fittings these inlet fittings have an orifice so you need to check for the proper position you need to check that all fittings is properly installed and tightened make sure that everything is not left behind thanks for watching my video uh, just like and subscribe my youtube channel thanks for this uh, energetic engineer mr john renzo pingad and his assistant mr jb billion